Okay, so today is another interview. Last week, um, I had an interview with Sarah, the creator of Dawn, and it has been going on, well, not as long as I can remember, but it's been going on for a while, and I just love being a part of it. Um, it's Hunted. Um, Micah created it, uh, Smiley Miley, and it has been, I've loved it so much. Um, and today I actually got to interview her and I've, well, I've been thinking of interviewing her because like so much is going on with Hunted and Dawn and everything and I'm really excited to interview her. Okay, I'm just going to start already. Hey guys, it's Micah, aka Smiley Miley. Okay, so Micah, how do you feel about the feedback you've gotten about the series so far? Feedback, I love feedback. Feedback makes me happy. But lately, I don't get that much feedback because I think my show sucks. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Not really. Kind of serious, but it's okay. Um, I think it's normal for um, shows to lose its, quote, popularity, and quote, the longer it takes for, like, an episode to get out or the slower the process is to get through, like, one half of a season or five episodes. Um I thought of Hunted, like, a year ago, and I posted the first video, which is, like, the casting call a year ago in the intro and stuff like that, and the first episode of Hunted went up 10 months ago, and the last episode of Hunted, let me scroll and find it, went up, uh, where is it? It went up two months ago. Like, it's been a, it's been... 10 months of Hunted. Like, that's so long. And it's only on episode 5. So, I understand that I lost some viewers and popularity and stuff like that. Which is A-OK. But I still do get some decent feedback. And I still enjoy it. Um, But I also do feel like that I'm not as involved in the voiceover community as I used to be. Which is, like, crazy because I'm doing the exact same thing. But I felt like... (laughs) When I first started, who knows how long ago that was. Like, I have so many videos that are, like, private that no one can see from, like, my first ever videos and, like, the first things I've ever written because they were trash. So, I've been here for a decent amount of time, I guess. But when I first came onto YouTube and I was was like, hey, voiceover community, I was, like, the baby of the voiceover community. Like, everyone starts at the bottom and, like, the little baby and they, like grow up in the voiceover community, I guess, and they, like, get their own show, and they, like, blossom, and then they win a Hot Summer Award. (laughs) I'm still not there yet, but it's okay. Me too. Literally, I've been here for almost four years, and I haven't won in Hot Summer Awards. Well, it's really because, like, I guess, like, I haven't really, I didn't really get into it until, like, this year, so. (laughs) Um, like, I was a little baby, and I would watch all these, like, amazing shows, and I'd be like, oh my gosh, I suck. And I would comment, and I'd be like, I love you, marry me. And then I would secretly stalk Anthony and Gary all the time. Like, all the time. But it was a secret then. It's not a secret anymore. <laughs> it was a secret then. It's not a secret anymore because they know I stalk them. It's okay. We're all friends. <laughs> But then, like I said, I was commenting, I was liking, I was starring, it was nice. I was making voiceovers, not series, which is voiceovers. I said that really weird. I was making voiceovers, and it was all good. And then a lot of those people left, and, like, they grew up, went to college, found better things to do with their life. (laughs) I'm just kidding, but I'm serious again. And then it's, like, now this whole new generation, kind of, is coming in, or it's people that have been on YouTube for just as long as I have been, or even longer, that are finally, like, getting their own series that are, like, doing really well, and I feel like I'm, like, clueless, because I see all these series, and I'm like, okay, where did you come from, and how did this happen, and blah, 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 and then I feel bad, because I don't give them feedback, but, um, it's kind of pointless, I just brought that up, because that's what I was thinking about, um, but I feel like things were better when I was, like, doing more than one thing at once, like, if I had two series going on, like I probably feel great because then like I was editing two series, I was writing two series, I was uploading two series, and I was busy, busy, busy with YouTube. And I'm not gonna say I don't like, I'm not gonna say I have time for all that, but um, I do have time for some of it. Um, I am a junior, so it's kind of like, 
I hate junior year, by the way. If you're not a junior, be happy. But, um, like, it's just a process. And back to the topic, which was feedback, I, you see it a lot of feedback, and I really did enjoy it. I still enjoy the feedback I do get, but I do wish that I did get more feedback from people. Um, I know that Hunted can be confusing, or that it was confusing for a minute, especially between the first and second episode, and then maybe the second and the third episode. The first three episodes, even though that's only five, were kind of, like, iffy, because I changed the cast, and I changed who portrayed each character between the first and the second episode, and then Garrett and Bella started dating, and it was like, whoa, and then... Uh, another whoa well moment that's going to happen is the whole Becca and Tony situation. It's going to be like, whoa. But I kind of felt like it was brewing. I kind of thought I like led up to it. I don't know. I just feel like my planning is so rushed for the first couple episodes that it's like I'm trying to like fix it in the fourth and the fifth episode and slow things back down. But it's just not. I don't know if it's working because no one's really told me. So that's why I'm like feedback is good and I would want more feedback. But for the second half of the season, I've planned every single episode out. It's written down a million times. I have rough drafts. I have final drafts. And I have six, seven, and eight episodes. All those episodes are written. I just have to finish episode nine and then write episode ten. But I only sent out episode six because, like, I don't want to send out episode seven and eight. I don't know if it's, like... Even though they're really good, like, they're really good scripts, in my opinion. They're, like, some of the best I've written and the most, like, thought of and well-rounded scripts I've written. So, I don't know. I'm just, like, on the border of sending those out yet. Even though I told everybody I'd send them out yesterday, I still did not send them out. But it's okay. It's whatever. But as a whole, I definitely want more feedback, but I love the feedback I get right now from some pretty amazing people that have stuck with me throughout these long 10 months slash the long year it's been with hunted that's literally me I've been sticking with you like it was a little you know like I didn't know exactly about it um yet like your series I was like trying to get with it but like literally these months these like past months like three months it's like I've been sticking with you I've been like there been talking more I'm just like I'm, like, on top of the world in this YouTube community. <laughs> what hints or, like, small sneak peeks into the story do you have to share with us? Sneak peek. I'll give you a sneak peek from every single episode that's coming out. 6 through 10. Episode 6, a sneak peek is, um, uh, it's a crossover with Dawn. So there's some Dawn sneak peeks and there's Dawn special moments that, like, are going to drive you crazy. And then there's some hunted moments. But for me, I pretty much think that this is a really chill episode of Hunted. Um, but then also you have to go watch Dawn episode six to see a nice scene of a certain character in Hunted. And you find out that there's more to both shows in episode six of both shows, if that helps out. Um, episode seven, uh, someone gets attacked. And, oh wait, I think two people get attacked. No, one person gets attacked in episode seven, and it's a girl. And, but then a guy kind of gets attacked, but not really attacked. So, it's two people kind of get attacked, but the girl's attack is worse than the guy's attack. It's crazy. And then you find out that something that's not supposed to be happening on campus has been happening and that something a certain person said in episode six was actually true. Crazy how they're connected. I know. Episode eight, sneak peek. Uh, another person is attacked, and a couple of couples, like all the couples, make out. Basically, I don't know. I don't know what's up with me and like love VW scenes. I know those are the worst to like voice over because it's so uncomfortable. Episode nine. Um, that's, like, the big reveal, kind of, like, you find out some stuff, and you're, like, holy crap, I hate these people, and then you're, like, wait, how could they do that? I hate this person, and you're, like, wait, how could this happen? I hate everyone, so, 
episode nine will be like the I hate you, Micah episode. <laughs> and then episode ten, which is the season finale, which is like, whoa. Um Oh, that's the night of the dance. Just that's like your sneak peek right there. That's like your hint. That's the night of the dance and shit goes down. Um yeah, <laughs> goes down. That's another hint because it, oh my gosh, that could be taken so sexually. I did not mean it that way, but down is a part of a word that describes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh god! Okay, the next question: When do you think the second half of the season will premiere? Because I'm actually so excited for it. I love it so much. <laughs> um. I actually have no clue, to be honest. Like, um, I tweeted that episode six is the hardest episode I've had to edit so far, which is really true. I didn't write it following any scene from a show or anything. I kind of just wrote the whole episode, like, as if I was actually directing it and that I can make stuff happen, which is really hard because I have to cut a lot of scenes together and it's really difficult so I don't know when that will be out but I hope that it will be out before the end of the month definitely but I also want to get episode seven and eight lines sent out and get like them back and have started recording for episode seven and eight before I premiere the season so that way like episodes can be more consistent instead of like one episode every like three months if that makes sense. Like, I want an episode, like, maybe once every two weeks, maybe once a week, who knows, but I want more consistent episodes, but this kind of sucks because Don can't premiere until Hunted premieres because of the crossover episodes, and it's like, Hunted has to go first before Don, and that makes me feel, like, extremely bad and, like, anxious, and, like, <laughs> I feel like people are going to feel bad to, like, be mad at me at the same time because, like, we all want to see Don and, like, like everyone wants to see Don. Like, Sarah's an amazing writer and an editor, and we're all, like, super excited to see what else is going to happen for Don. And no one can see that until Hunted comes out. And I don't think that Sarah and I have the same, like, viewers. I feel like she has a lot of different viewers than I do or, like, people, like like her show a lot not saying that they don't like mine but i'm saying like we have compl- like we have we share some of the same viewers but like she has more and the more she has i feel like they're like they don't even know what haunted it like haunted did i just get my own name wrong oh because i'm freaking out okay. the viewers okay <laughs> okay we do share some of the same viewers but i think she definitely has more and the group that she has that don't know what Hunted is, they're probably going to be like, okay, why are we waiting to see Don for this poop show that no one knows about? Like, if you know what I mean? So it's kind of stressful. So I'm, like, trying to edit as fast as I can and, like, do everything quickly. But I don't want to do it too quickly because I don't want my own show to suck. Totally understandable. I got just the Supreme, and I don't want it to suck. I hope people like it. I'm actually really scared that people won't like it. <laughs> okay, thanks, Micah. Um, for letting me interview you. Everybody else, um, I don't know exactly when the next interview slash video recommendation will be, but just keep on checking, and I'll talk to you later.